I want to talk to you today about your right time is coming. We're all waiting for something, waiting for a dream to come to pass or to meet the right person, for our health to turn around. When it's been a long time and we don't see any sign of it, it's easy to get discouraged and think that it's never going to work out. But God said in Isaiah, when the time is right, I, the Lord, will make it happen. When God put the promise in your heart, when he gave you that dream, he determined the right time to bring it to pass. He's already scheduled your healing, your breakthrough, your promotion. There are right time moments in your future where things will fall into place. The right people will show up. The opportunity will find you. And what you're believing for may not have happened yet, but when you understand that God has a right time, that it's already been scheduled by the creator of the universe, you won't live worried, frustrated. When is it ever going to happen? You'll stay in peace knowing that your right time is coming. Now, the right time is the best time. God can see the big picture. He knows not only when you're ready, but when other people are ready. While you're waiting, it may seem like nothing is happening, but behind the scenes, God is working moving the wrong people out of the way, lining up the favor, arranging the breaks that you need. It's important to not only trust God, but trust his timing. Thoughts will tell you it's never going to happen. You'll never meet the right person. It's been too long. You'll never get well. The odds are against you. Don't believe those lies. When you come into your right time, all the forces of darkness cannot stop what God has planned. At the right time, your healing will come. At the right time, the person of your dreams will show up. At the right time, your business will take off. At the right time, you'll come out of that addiction, that depression, that trouble at work, and live in freedom, wholeness, victory. Don't get discouraged because it hasn't happened yet. Your right time is coming. God said, when the time is right, I, the Lord, will make it happen. The beauty is we don't have to make it happen. You don't have to manipulate things, force a door to open, make yourself get well. God is going to make it happen. You may have obstacles that are too big for you. You don't see how you can get out of debt, how you can have a baby, how you can accomplish a dream. The good news is you're not on your own. At the right time, God will open the doors. He'll cause you to conceive. He'll turn your child around. At the right time, God changed a city council member's mind and we got the compact center. At the right time, God stepped in and healed my mother of terminal cancer. At the right time, David took a slingshot and defeated a giant. At the right time, prison doors flung open for Paul and Silas. You may not see how this can happen. The odds are against you. You're looking at it in the natural. God is supernatural. He's not limited by what limits us. He has these right time moments in your future where he's going to make things happen that you could never make happen. Now, here's the key. If there's a right time, that means any other time is the wrong time. It takes faith and patience to see the promises. We live in a microwave society. I like everything fast. God, do it now. The longer I live, the more I've learned to trust God's timing. God knows what he's doing. He can see the big picture. If it hasn't happened yet, it hasn't been the right time. You have to trust him. Doesn't mean it's not going to happen. God has not forgotten about you. Your right time is already scheduled. If it would have happened sooner, it wouldn't have been a blessing. In the waiting process, God's doing a work in us getting us stronger, developing our character, preparing us to carry the weight of glory. If the situation is not changing, maybe God is using the situation to change you. If it's not working out yet, maybe he's working out something in you. The test is, will you trust him while you're waiting for the right time? Will you keep a good attitude? Will you stay in faith when you don't see anything happening? This is when it's easy to get discouraged, live stressed. God, when are you going to do something? When am I going to meet the right person? When is my business going to grow? 
When are these people at work going to start treating me better? Why don't you relax and come back to a place of peace? God sees what you're going through. He knows what you need. He knows your dreams, your goals. He's the one that put them in you. And what he has purposed for your life will come to pass. One scripture says it won't be one second late. Thoughts will tell you, no, you're falling behind. You're missing out. Everyone's getting ahead of you. No, you're right on schedule. God is ordering your steps. You keep honoring him, doing the right thing. You're going to come into these right time moments, moments where he's going to thrust you ahead. It was a long time waiting, but when you see what God does, you'll say it was worth the wait. What God is going to do is going to be bigger, better, more rewarding than what you had in mind. When Abraham was 80 years old, his wife Sarah was 70, God gave them a promise that they would have a baby. In the natural, this was impossible. No one had ever had a baby at that age. Sarah had been barren her whole life, never had any children. When they first heard this promise, it was so far out they laughed. They thought, God, that's a good one. You must have the wrong couple. There's no way we can have a child. If God would have given them this promise when they were in their 20s, 30s, when it was a normal time to have children, they would have believed. But sometimes God will wait on purpose to when the odds are against us. Seems like it's too late. We're too old, or we don't have the training, the medical report's not good, we don't come from an influential family. We have plenty of excuses to not believe. But when God gives the promise, he sets the time to bring it to pass. He doesn't give you the dream and then say, well, I'm going to think about it a few months. Let me ponder that for a while. The moment he gives it to you, he puts the promise on the schedule. He marks the right time. Like Abraham and Sarah, what God has spoken to you may seem impossible, like it could never happen. Don't get talked out of your dream. Don't let doubt what you don't see him happening, how unlikely it is, keep you from believing for what God promised. When thoughts tell you there's no way, it's been too long, just say, no thanks, I know my right times are coming. Father, thank you that what you promised is already on the schedule, that I don't have to figure it out, but you're going to make it happen and it's not going to be one second late. We're all going to wait, but learn to wait the right way. Wait in faith. Wait with expectancy. Wait with praise, thanking God in advance that it's on the way. See, Abraham and Sarah, at first, they didn't believe they could have a baby. They were filled with doubt. How can this happen? But God said in Genesis 18, is there anything too hard for the Lord? At the appointed time, I will return and give Sarah a son. God said, in effect, you may be doubting. You don't see how but I have already set the right time. At the appointed time, she will give birth. Notice God set the time when he gave the promise. Whatever God has promised you, he's already set the right time. It's already in your future. The question is, what do we do when it's taking longer than we thought? God's timing is not our timing. On the way to your promise being fulfilled, there will be opportunities to get discouraged, Give up on what you're believing for. If it's going to happen, it would have happened by now. Just accept it. That's when you have to dig down deep and say, God, I trust you. I know you wouldn't have promised me this if you didn't have a right time on my schedule. Don't live with a it's never going to happen mentality. Live with a right time mentality. If you knew one of your right times was October 16th at 2.30 in the afternoon, you were going to meet the person of your dreams. The medical report was going to say cancer-free. An opportunity to expand your business was going to come to you. If you knew that right time was coming, you would relax. You wouldn't live worried. You wouldn't waste time trying to figure it out, not able to sleep at night. God doesn't tell us when, but he does promise when the time is right, he's going to make it happen. A year went by, and Abraham and Sarah didn't see a baby. Two years, no child. Three years, she was still barren. They made some mistakes. They tried to help God out. 
Sarah told Abraham to sleep with her maid. That way they could have a child. Abraham said, let me pray about it. He prayed for four seconds and said, okay, I'm good with that. (laughs) He slept with the maid. They had a son, but it wasn't the promised child. That baby caused all kinds of strife and division. You don't have to help God out. You don't have to manipulate, force, strive. may not happen as fast as you would like, but you have to trust God's timing. Trying to force things to happen, the Scripture calls that works of the flesh. That's not going to change the right time. It's just going to bring frustration. It's much better to wait and for God to do it His way. Abraham and Sarah eventually learned this principle. Romans 4 says, Even though Abraham was 100 years old, Sarah was 90 and had been barren, Abraham never wavered in believing that the promise would come to pass. They quit being frustrated. They quit trying to force it to happen. And they started believing that their right time was in their future. Instead of living sour, God, when is it going to happen? We're too old. It's been too long. I can hear him all through the day. Lord, thank you that the right time is coming. We don't see how, we don't know when, but we do know you are a faithful God, that when you promised us the child, you put the right time on our schedule. Your time may not have come yet, but it's closer than you think. There's about to be a shift from struggling to ease, from barely making it to abundance, from fighting that addiction to freedom, from dealing with that sickness to health and wholeness, from nothing working out, closed doors, to things falling into place, the right people, the contracts, the resources. What God promised already has the set time. It's not going to be one second late. Friends, there's no reason to live frustrated, no reason to live worried. Trust His timing. If you'll do this, I believe and declare you're about to come in to one of your right time moments. Like Abraham and Sarah, dreams that seem impossible are about to come to pass. Healing, promotion, divine connections, it's going to be better than you think in Jesus' name. And if you receive it, can you say amen today?